Hi everyone, once again welcome to the TimeNet CPOC lab training videos. Today I would like to talk about the Active Directory snapshots. Like the name itself, the Active Directory snapshots are used for creating present working stage of Active Directory to a snapshot, moving to a snapshot of Active Directory. That means whenever we want to refer that snapshot after making a change to Active Directory, we can do it. For example, you create a snapshot of Active Directory today and tomorrow accidentally some of your users got deleted or some properties of your users has been changed. So if you want a reference for your previous Active Directory stage you can use Active Directory snapshot. There is one more thing that even if you are using this Active Directory snapshots on a working domain controller you can mount these Active Directory snapshots while the Active Directory is working and you can see the users and computers and what all other objects you had in the snapshots at the time of taking the snapshot. That means you don't have to restart the domain controller. There is no downtime for the domain controller. You can see both databases at the same time. This snapshot also can be automated so that uh, by a regular interval the snapshots can be taken on your domain controller itself and uh, at any time if you want to refer to a recent snapshot of your Active Directory domain you can use these automated snapshots which were created. The tools that you want to use that you have to use to create an Active Directory snapshot is the NTDS util which we use for most of the purposes uh, like backing up on all these kind of things. You can use the same NTDS util for creating snapshots of Active Directory and uh, you can use uh, Active Directory ADC edit and uh, LDP tool or LDIFD or CSDV tool for importing and exporting LDF files from Active Directory snapshots and uh, uh, these are the typical tools that you use for managing Active Directory snapshots so now we can have a look at how we can create these snapshots and uh, how we can mount them and how we can see the properties of users that has been there when we created the snapshots. I am now logged on to a Windows Server 2008 domain controller in which I have installed Active Directory and I have also created some users into it so we can have a look at them. I have created some users and I also have some organizational units with some users inside it. So to get, create a snapshot of this Active Directory domain what I have to do is I have to open the command prompt as an administrator right click and click as administrator and make sure that you are in this Windows System32 directory or at least in this C directory. After this you have to use the NTDS util. Type in NTDS util and press enter and it will take you to the tool and from there you can type in snapshot which will take you to the snapshot tool and uh, just type in create and press enter and you will get a get a error message saying that active directory instance not set this means that before creating the snapshot we have to set the active directory instance to ntds for that you have to create you have to type in activate instance ntds and it will show a uh, show a message that activated instance to ntds after this you can type in create and press enter and it will create the snapshot of your existing Active Directory database. You will get a message saying that a snapshot has been created. And after this you, to see the list of snapshots that you have on your domain controller you have to type in list all and press enter and you will be able to see all the snapshots that are there in your domain controller and here you can see uh, the name of uh, the snapshot is 2 that we created so we have to type in mount 2 to mount this snapshot to our computer after mounting it click on my computer and expand my computer on the left side to see that a partition has been mounted with the name of the snapshot and if you go to the windows and ntds folder inside that partition you can see the snapshot of the ntds database of active directory 
so I will copy the path of that directory and go to the snapshot tool once again and uh, now I have to use some tool called DSA main DSA main for that I'll quit from the NTDS util and will type in DSA main space hyphen DB path space and I'll put the directory path of our NTDS file and uh, give the NTDS file with the extension name of the NTDS file with the extension and then I have to mention the port through which I am going to connect to this snapshot NTDS dot it and space hyphen LDAP port space a port that you are going to connect through I will give 10389 and will press enter and a message will confirm the uh, that your active directory snapshot has been mounted and is ready to be connected so now you have to leave this uh, command prompt as it is and you can go to active directory users and computers and you can right click on the active directory and click on change domain controller and from there you have to type in the name and the port of the domain controller to which you are going to connect I will type in the name of the same domain controller and give a different port the port that we have mentioned winsvr1.contoso.com colon and the port which we use to mount this snapshot 10389 and I press enter it will show the status as online I mean, I can select that port and I will click OK now my active directory users and computers MMC is connected to the snapshot not to the actual database I am connected to the snapshot and you can see all the users computers and all the other objects that were there and you can also see that all the properties are grayed out for every object and I can take the original database also at the same time you can see that it is connected to winserver.contoso.com now to the other port it is connected to the default port and this one is connected to the snapshot <coughs> By taking these two databases, we will be able to uh, see or compare the objects in Active Directory by taking the properties of each objects. And you can also use some other tools like Active Directory comparison tools, uh, which we are not going to discuss in this uh, video. So this is how you connect to Active Directory uh, snapshots and this is how you create it and you connect it now we have to uh, disable this snapshot which is mounted I'll press control C control C which will stop the active directory services which mounted this snapshot not the other active directory instance which is working only the snapshot you will get the message saying that it has stopped successfully and uh, I'll once again go to the NTDS util and we'll see whether the snapshots are still there yes it is mounted but it's not connected it is not ready to be connected so I'll first list all the mounted databases which are there in this server I'll type in list mounted and it will show me all the mounted databases in the snapshot tool I can uh, unmount the snapshot using unmount command unmount to and after that if you check in my computer you will see that the partition is unmounted and if you check for the list all command still the snapshot will be there so if you want to delete the snapshot completely after unmounting you can use the delete command delete to the serial number of that snapshot so it will be deleted and if you now once again try to list all snapshots it will say that no snapshots are found 
So this is how you can uh, create snapshots in Active Directory and you can mount it to Active Directory running Active Directory servers and you can compare it to the existing Active Directory instances and make changes accordingly. Thank you for watching this video. For more video and online training facilities, log on to www.timenet.co.in or uh, visit our Facebook page www.facebook.com slash sipoclab to know more about us. Like our page to get instant updates and thank you for watching once again.